Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. In the last episode, we were breaking into the casino. Brooks has done everything that she needs to. We need to turn off the cameras from our side. However, however, first things first, there is mingling, and I want to see who is where. I heard your advice is so good at psychic. So what's going to happen to me in the next few minutes? Disappointment. Oh. Hey. Shaira! This was... I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the consort from the first game. Damn, it's been so long. Commander Shepard. Shaira. It's been a long time. My idea of a long time is different than yours, Commander. What can I say? I put a lot of living into the last few years. Indeed. Do you have any advice for me this time? win perfect advice love perfect advice commander have a drink i think i once heard a rumor that you were leaving the citadel i did leave some so-called journalists made up stories about me because of their venom i retired to a little colony in the Celia nebula why come back because i knew people here and they needed comforting and because one does not flee the heart of the galaxy in desperate times. Not because of some scoundrel with a video camera. Hmm, interesting. Why, Commander, you keep coming over. What is a lady to think? I was wondering, how does someone become a consort? By understanding the minds around you. By displaying compassion in every direction. And then trying just a little harder, and just a little longer than anyone who is not a consort can possibly imagine. And now, if you'll excuse me, I have a potential client to attend to. It is. I'm, so, I'm just so surprised to see her. I'm so surprised. Like, it's a good surprise. It's a good surprise. I just... The yellow wiring. I know, Liara, I know. I, I, I just never expected her to be in the series again. She was in the first game. She got mentioned in the second. I, I didn't expect to ever see her again. So seeing her hit, I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, Nick. That's it. That's it. Okay. St I wanted to double check. Okay. Now then, anyone else? Anyone else got things to say before I do illegal activities? Hello? Round and round and round she goes. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Is that like code for how wasted I am? Uh, no. <laughs> we just call the wheel she. That's sexism. Wait, I mean objectivism. That's sexism for inanimate things. Commander? We're okay, right? You've got a plan for this gate. <gasps> I've got a plan for this gate. Hold the fuck up, Brooks. Follow I have found a, a drunk woman and she is being strange. I love roulette. Every minute is more exciting than the next. Should I point out the flaw in that statement? Oh, are you like one of those detail people? Come on, even diamonds have flaws, but that doesn't make them less valuable. Miss, where exactly were you educated? Oh, online. You can take these courses and it teaches you responsibility because you do the grading. Madam, ma one, that is the Inquisitor. I would know the Inquisitor's voice anywhere. That is the Inquisitor doing an American accent. Um, two, this is, this is Ashland. This is the guy upstairs. He said his daughter, Aish. This is his kid. This is his kid. Um, Follow the yellow wiring. And in a minute, like you are, you are the heiress to a very large company. And, madam, madam, what? Uh, you, tough girl. Perfect. I need an opinion on something from a B lister or below. Houses with retractable roofs, still in or too common? Your house has a retractable roof. Only the one on the Citadel. I gotta take care of it since the one on Earth got all reaperfied. Instead of remodeling, maybe you could invite a few refugees to come stay. Oh, I am totally on that. But finding the right one is hard, you know? So many of them don't have agents. Oh my god. Can't stay away, can you? What can I say? 
I'm a masochist. Oh, no kidding! I'm a Scorpio! We'll get along great. <laughs> Madam, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, I just... I'm a masochist. I'm a Scorpio. We get along great. Follow the yellow wiring. That has killed me. That has actually destroyed me. That was beautiful. Who are you? Interesting. You're not mingling and you're not betting. What's your game? The name's Roland Quarn. The game, Commander Shepard, is hearts and minds. Care to elaborate? Most people in this casino are here for a good cause. Others are just here to be seen. Phonies, if you will. They have money they won't miss. Others who are not myself need it. So the honorable thing to do is part them from this money. So you're a con man? Con men leave their marks angry. Con artists leave them smiling. Okay, you're just out here admitting to being a con artist. That doesn't seem very smart. I'm debating whether I should report you to security. Oh, I like a good debate. Would you be so smug if I got you thrown out of here? Possibly. I'd like to see you explain my wicked motives right after you explain why you have a radio in your ear. Well, since I don't see you turning me in either, I gather you're no friend of Khan's. Khan doesn't have friends. Anyone who says otherwise is deluding themselves. Okay. He's like the only guy who's picked up on our radio. Even the guards haven't noticed that. Damn. So, is Khan part of your game tonight? No, I simply sheer... No. What do humans call it? I fleece his guests. Then there's no harm in telling me what his weaknesses are. I've studied him. He's ruthless and rich, but not very bright. Temperamental. Doesn't deal well with the unexpected. He's also used to letting other people handle things he doesn't understand. Like his security. That's quite an assessment. Do I owe you anything? No. We do what we do because there are wrongs that need righting. The wrongs I address are simply pettier than yours. Then I guess we know where we stand, Mr. Korn. Enjoy the evening, Commander. Hello. I don't think we gave you our name. Okay, he just, he's, I know who you are. I know who you are, girl. Okay. Anything else? Any luck with the gate, Commander? Give me a minute. It'll be done when it's done. Thank you, Naomi. Follow Perfect. the yellow wiring. I can't get the security gate to open from here. The junction must be on your side. It might be tricky. Just so you know. Have a little faith. Okay. I can distract him. Tell me when. Okay. Oh, hello. Hello, Mingle. The thing about Solarian parties is, they all do it too well. I don't follow. My lab group on Sirkesh. All Solarians but me, and all with damn near perfect memories. Oh, that could get awkward. Exactly. It was all about who burnt the cake six months ago, or arguments the two people continue when they meet up once a year. So they never let anything go? Yeah, it was constant one-upmanship. I couldn't keep pace with them if I wanted to. Damn. Damn, I... You work on Sir Kesh. I, I, I hope that's... You know, that area is going all right after... I believe Sir Kesh was, um... I believe Cerberus came and destroyed the lab, right? So you don't miss Sir Kesh at all? Not the humidity and not the lack of privacy. But the science was uh, like nowhere else. What did you work on? And what didn't we? Food scanners for the paranoid, chemical bonders, self-cleaning mating pools. Learned a lot, huh? For the mating pools, uh, way more than I wanted to know. <clears throat> Flipping it. Hey again, back for more tales out of school? Sure. Andrew was just saying the Solarians came up with satellites that eat orbiting debris, so their space isn't all cluttered like ours. Nice trick. What won't they think of next? Hair extensions, I imagine. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we... I'm 
like, can I? I'm not gonna be able, like, yeah, it's, oh, that's a, bastards, bastards, okay, okay, let's, so we, we need to disable this camera, however, I think, I do think this camera is picking me up. I, yeah. Yeah, so that, there we go, That that's a little better. Yeah, I think this, this cone does go that far. Okay, so we need, distract him, camera. Distract him, camera. Do hickey down there. I think, I think that is the plan. I think that's the plan. Uh, you look hungry. They have that grown swordfish in the restaurant. Shall I save you a bite? I wouldn't turn that down. Hey, who told you I like that fish? Come on, come on, get to him. Get to him, please. I need... Have a good night now. Yeah, go cue, Those get cufflinks. Him. Is that design inspired by late period Inusanan artwork? The attention to detail is remarkable. Um, I guess. They were a gift. Mm -hmm. Khan, I'm not here to threaten you. We need to talk. What the hell? I see this conversation will be strictly one-sided. Commander, there's a deletion order on the terminal. Damn it. Everything's been wiped. I don't know if it was him or the killer or... <gasps> when I tripped that alarm, did I screw this up? What are you looking for? Mistakes. Thought so. Whoever it was had to do this fast. They wiped the terminal, but not the comm. Oh, so we can take the comm back to the safe house to scan it, or... Elijah, come crawling back. Guess again. You. I see you've recovered from flopping on the floor like a fish. Um... Okay, okay, I, I... I'm sorry, I... I'm... I need to see that again. I need to see that again. Um... It looked like the person had braids. Like Naomi's braids. My thought was... My initial thought when, when the camera picked up and it was like, you know, like, oh, Elijah, come crawling back. I thought, okay, they're going really far to hide the identity of this mystery person. It must be someone we know. The top, I swear down, that looks like braids. You'll need to do better than that. The last guy that trash talked to me was a few kilometers taller than you. Brave. I thought as much, but it won't matter. You have nothing. All you can do is wait for the hammer to fall. Those are braids. Those are... Have we seen anyone with braids like Naomi's? It wouldn't be... It wouldn't be someone from the first two games because they didn't have this hairstyle in the first two games originally. This was... I, I believe this specific hairstyle came in with Mass Effect 3 and then when they did the Legendary Edition, they ported it back so that your shepherd could have like a consistent hairstyle throughout all of them have we seen in have we seen anyone in mass effect 3 with braids I'm... I can't remember. I ca off, off the top of my head, I don't think so, but I feel like we must have. I feel like we must have. I 
I don't, I'm, I'm trying to go back over the entirety of the game and I'm like, that's too much. That's too much. I think, I think Naomi would just be thinking, what the hell do you want in all of this? Why do this? What did I do to you? I'm gonna take everything you have and everything you are. Damn it. <sighs> Sorry, Commander. There wasn't enough time to trace the call. We're not finished. Pull out the data drives. The ones that got wiped? You think we can find something? With Edie, anything's possible. The sooner we get them to her, the sooner we can track down this threat. Thank you, Shepard. That was fun. Well, not so much for the host. It wasn't a total loss. Brooks, work with Edie to see if there's anything useful on those drives. Here's hoping. I'll let you know what we find, Commander. I'm just gonna... Those were definitely braids. Those 100%. 100% those were braids. The colours on the picture were skewed. But to me... To me... That looked like a dark-skinned person. With braids. Secret identical twin? The fact that they're going so far to be like, oh, it's a mystery person, it's a mystery person, we're gonna completely disguise the voice, we're going to completely, well, attempt to completely disguise the image. To me, I'm like, okay, it's someone we know. It's someone we know. They're bringing someone back from either earlier in this game or a previous game that would make the play go like, oh shit, it's them. I feel, I, I feel completely solid in the idea that this has to be someone we know. The fact that they have braids, and I'm like, I, I would say like 85% certainty. 85% certainty. I feel like if that had been a light-skinned person, the image would have been a lot lighter. It was slightly grayscaled, but you, even, even when you put something on a grayscale, if someone has dark skin, you can tell they have dark skin. That was a dark-skinned person with, with braids. I don't... I don't trust this. I don't tr Naomi, do you have siblings? <laughs> do you have a twin that I was unaware of? Also, I, I, again, I just, I just want to speak about Brooks there. I want to speak about Brooks there. And um, say, so, you know, oh, everything's gone. Everything's gone. Oh, I screwed up. Wait, what are you looking for? What are you doing? Why are you, why are you messing about with that? I've just said that it's completely gone. What are you doing? And now that we're back here. Oh yeah, I'll work with Edie. I'll work with Edie. Is it because you want to be helpful or because you want to fuck around with those things? I, d I don't trust you, madam. I don't trust you. I think we may have an identical twin. I'm, t I'm concerned. <laughs> I'm concerned. Why am I in this dress? No. No, I want the hoodie. Naomi, I d I, where is your hoodie, girl? Where is your hoodie? It's comfortable. <laughs> Get that back on. Get that back on, lass. Uh, casual. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Oops, excuse me. Yeah, is anyone is anyone dicking about in our private in our private quarters? Hello, you got up. Um, I. Mm, <laughs> I I I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I don't like. I said. I swear down. That was braids. That was braids. Like I swear. I. That is the one thing. That I'm like 
100% that was a person with braids. They weren't wearing a helmet. Those were the braids. This is, a, like, let's be honest, it's, it's quite an identifiable hairstyle. It's not like... It's not like, you know, Kaidan, you know, where it's just sort of like one... Like, I'm, I'm moving my finger here, like, you can see that. But, like, it's just basically like a, like a whoop. It's like an up and over. Whereas this... Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Naomi, back up. Naomi, back up from the camera. It's bumps. Smooth, bump, smooth, bump, smooth, bump, smooth, bump, smooth, bump, smooth. To the other ear. Like, that... That is a distinctive hairstyle. I... I... Mm, people... People talk to me. I could go for some food while we wait. Too bad you shot the hell out of the best sushi place in the Citadel, huh? Uh, What's up, Commander? Ah, fuck you. <laughs> Did I ever tell you about my casino run-in with the Vorcha Mafia? 5,000 credits and a bottle of whiskey? Actually, never mind. No, I, no, tell me more. Tell me more, this sounds interesting. Hey, Shepard. Boo, how dare. Much offense. I hope Brooks and Edie can find something on the drive. Same here. Hey. Hey, Tali. Uh, oh, Liara, hi. A glamorous mission, but not our most successful. The next time we have a date, perhaps we should just stay in. Oh, that'd be amazing. Commander. Liara and Glyph. Greetings, Commander. The casino will be hosting another gala in a few months. Shall I arrange for tickets? Once was enough. <gasps> Bless you, Glyph! Bless you, Glyph! He's like, shall I set you up on another date? <laughs> shall I set you up on another date with my... my? To be fair, Liara didn't exactly create Glyph. But like, still... <laughs> Glyph is lovely. Glyph is adorable. <laughs> Damn, Commander. You can't even attend a party without someone ending up dead. Now, if I can just find some chow around here, you'd think a pad like this would be stocked. D dude, like, surely we must have a phone here. You can, you can order takeout. Shepard. James. And anyway, and, you know, I, I feel like it's pretty safe to assume that everyone will remain in their places, but I just, I have to check. If I don't check, then I'll never know. I think so. we've got something, Commander. Okay. Okay, two ticks. Cortez. Sounds like the mission ended with a hiccup. Well, I'm just glad our team made it back okay. Randy. Oh, anything else? Edie will get it done. Oh, that she will. Edie will get it done. She already has. And nothing new there. Okie doke, and just Garrus, Rex, and Javik. What do you all have to say? Any life or death encounters with fish aquariums this time? No? Mm, too bad. I can hear Vega's stomach rumbling from here. If we did, we wouldn't serve the fish to James. We'd give them a burial. <laughs> We'd give them a burial, and Jeff, the assassin fish, would give their eulogies. How's it going? I am traumatized by fish, Garrus. Everywhere I look, there are reminders of what I did. What's the matter, Shepard? Didn't want me as your date. <laughs> Too much Krogan for you to handle? A lot of people have that problem. Most of them are dead. <laughs> no, Rex, Rex, the issue isn't that you're a Krogan. The issue is that you are a bloke and Naomi is the big gay. <laughs> If you were a lady Krogan, Naomi might have taken you on a date, but you're not. Mm. Oh. Mm. Okay, he's just grunting now. That's that's lovely. Commander, instead of infiltrating the casino using a disguise, it would have been better to hold all the primitives hostage, threaten them with death, and shoot them until they gave you what you wanted. Next time, I will gladly assist. What the fuck? Commander. He's not even joking! Commander. Jab Jabbing, no! No, buddy, you can't do that! That's not right! Then again, am I surprised? Am I surprised? No. 
No, I am not. And Edie? I am glad to see my physical proximity was not necessary to the success of the mission, Shepard. Let's see what you find before we call it a win. Hello, Shepard. Hello, Edie. And Brooks? Commander, Edie and I have been analyzing those drives. I think we found something if you're ready. Mm, I think so. I've got five minutes left on my timer, so yeah, we, we can make a start on this. Let's hear it. Though the data's root structure was erased, the logic integrity remains viable. Edie has an incredible talent for this stuff. I know she's an AI, but even still. We found an encrypted communication from a few days ago. Just need another minute to crack it. A whole minute? Edie here could shave that down to five seconds. I thought it best to allow staff analyst Brooks a chance to improve her decryption skills. And now you've lost your chance to show off. Like she needs it. You're the crew of the Normandy. You're legends to the rest of the Alliance. Oh, that, it was mostly me. I lo I'm like, I'd rather Edie do it because I trust Edie. I don't trust that you're actually going to do what you say you're doing. Um... I mean, Naomi, Naomi really has distanced herself from the Alliance. Like, really, she only interacts with Anderson and Hackett, and that's it. She 100% she is quitting after all of this. If she survives, if she survives, the first thing she is doing is handing in her resignation. Like, I'm not doing this anymore. I, I did this because Anderson asked, and now that the Reaper War is over... I'm, I'm out. I have no faith in the Alliance anymore. No faith whatsoever. So I'm out. Goodbye. I don't think she really interacts with the structure all that much. So, you know, like, it, it sounds silly. It sounds silly to say, but I, I think she'd be like, oh shit, people are talking. Like, yeah, of course people are. Of course people are. You're leading the charge against the Reapers, but Naomi isn't necessarily thinking about that. This idea that everyone in the Alliance is talking about her. She, oh shit, y'all aren't talking about the Reaper War? Damn, that's what we talk about. Legends can be good or bad. Which are we? You're the kind that people look up to. The kind they owe their lives to. How come everyone's always shooting at us? I think it's mostly you, Rex. The bigger the target, the bigger the, uh, target. You're saying I've gained weight? It just means there's more of the legend to love. And the camaraderie, the friendship. I think that's your secret weapon. <laughs> the camaraderie, the friendship, meanwhile. <laughs> Edie's like, I must stand here, otherwise a fight may break out between between Joker and Naomi. <laughs> no, <laughs> Like, the whole crew, the whole crew and the pilot are doing their best. All of her friends and the pilot are here. They're responsible for all of this. It's not just Naomi. It's all just part of the job. Wait. Job? You mean the rest of you are getting paid for this? Here we go. Wow. Those marks who were after you, they bought a lot of weapons. Like, big ones. Max, what do they need with that kind of firepower? It appears this drone is preparing to rebel. I have just monitored the commander's Spectre access code in use at the Citadel archives. Punch it up. The archives are going into emergency lockdown. Where is hacking your records is there right now? What do we know about the place? Council keeps sensitive historical information there. Real hush-hush. Even my old CSEC clearance never got me in. Then we'll find our own way in. Gear up and let's... What's with the Volus? Oh, pizza delivery guy. I got the munchies. <sighs> Double pepperoni. These archives are huge. You'll have a lot of ground to cover. Shame you can't bring everyone. Who says we can't? All hands on deck for this one. Hell yeah, but uh... Who gets to take point with you? <clears throat> Who's going to pay the bill? Oh my god! 
He took my advice. He called for pizza. Oh, this... oh my God, I'm having a moment. I'm having a moment. Everyone's coming. Um, I, I, I feel like I should bring Rex because he's not usually on the squad. So you're coming. You're. Co oh, hello. No, you just have the one appearance. It's a classic, though. It's a classic. Um, I. I've been taking Liara everywhere. I, to be fair, when when I tend to get into Endgame, I'm a lot more inclined to bring my my romance option for every quest because you tend to get like, oh, things are going wrong, but our love will survive. Like you tend to get those choices. So I'm like, I feel. <laughs> I feel like, and also like it, you know, like Rex is taking point, everyone's saying ahem, like obviously, like, Liara, I love you, come with me. It's me and the Krogan, uh, us and the Krogan, like, come on. Ah, oh, flipping heck. <laughs> well, y you know what? I am actually just about out of time for this episode. In the next one, Amma have sorted out everyone's guns. We're probably going to have to level up Rex, and then we will head down to those archives. But until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below, and if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.